Today I have seen some of the saddest things I have ever seen. This afternoon I was standing on a Bangladeshi island in the middle of a wide river estuary separating this country from Myanmar. And Rohingya villages on the other side were ablaze. I watched all this with a group of Rohingya refugees who themselves had just arrived and many of them were from the villages we saw burning in front of us. The eastern fringe of the Chittagong Hill Tracts, a remote tribal region, hugs the frontier with the northernmost tip of Myanmar's Rakhine state. Refugees, we had heard, were fleeing into Bangladesh up here too, but no outsiders had been in. Bangladeshi border guards, who we cannot identify, confirmed two landmine blasts in just the past 48 hours. One, they said, had killed a local man, the other, a refugee, within yards of making it to safety. So this is the spot that he laid the refugee Mukhtar Ahmed to rest yesterday. I went to see for myself. One of the man's legs was blown off completely and the other was barely attached below the knee. His hand was nearly blown off too. I took him on my shoulders and carried until we found a car and took him to a hospital. He died on the way. We brought him back and buried him here. The mines that killed this man and wounded the others, is it possible that they're old mines or are they new? I think these are new mines. When the refugees first started coming, there were no explosions. But since the Myanmar army began their recent patrols three days ago, we've had landmine blasts. Shathmara, or Killing Snake Camp, today has 489 families. People are arriving at the rate of 100 a day. One of them was Morshida's husband, Mukhtar Ahmed, killed on Monday night 20 yards from the fence. When the military started to kill the people in our village, we ran, but we didn't know there were going to be mines on the way. I was right behind my husband when it blew up. All I could think of was how I would cope with our four children now. I have nobody left in this world, and I don't know what to do. The one I loved is gone.